Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. And recently I've been getting a fair few comments from people asking to see my mining farm and see what I've got and that are just curious to know about my mining rigs. So that's what this video is gonna be. I'm gonna just show you my mining farm. So we're gonna do two things in the video. First I'm gonna show you everything that I've got right now. And we're gonna talk about the hash rate and all the different cards and all of that. And after that, I'm also going to talk to you about what my future plans are for my rigs and what I'm hoping to achieve, like mining farm wise. All right, so let's get to it. So I've currently got two full rigs, which this is the first one. This is the second one. And then I've got this just little test bench that we've built where I got one GPU running right now. So I'm gonna properly go through those two bigger mining rigs, but let's just start quickly and get this one out the way. So this is just an old like Dell PC motherboard that we janked out of a, like a old pre-build PC that we got. And on it, we've got a 1066 gigabyte and it's mining Ethereum. All of my rigs are mining Ethereum and it is currently getting around 24 and a half mega hash. And so the reason we got this GPU hooked up in this little test bench here is that this GPU was actually causing my bigger rigs to crash. So uh, yeah, it's gonna have to be over here by itself for now. All right, so next I figure let's talk about this rig because this rig is a lot of fun, uh, but it's also really easy to talk about. This is basically a 13 times 1660 super rig. Um, and that is, the whole of it, really. <laughs> so this is running uh, one of those amazing ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboards that actually has 13 PCIe slots straight on the motherboard. So as you can see down there, we got 13 GPUs hooked up on this motherboard. And that is all connected straight on the motherboard, which is amazing. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1660 supers plugged in. And that is all being powered by three 850 watt power supplies. So I got three power supplies to uh, power this whole rig. And what we've got more specifically is we got three EVGA 1660 supers. I forget the exact model name of those. And then we got one MSI Gaming X, which is this cool one with like RGB lighting. We got one Asus Tough. We got one uh, Asus Phoenix, which is those small like single fan ones. Then I'm gonna struggle to show you guys this, but then in there we got another one of those Asus Phoenix ones. Then we got two Asus Dual Evo. 1660 supers and then finally we've got four gigabyte 1660 supers here and so for those of you that aren't super familiar with the 1660 supers um, you can actually get two different kinds of memory chip in them um, it can be either manufactured by samsung or it can be manufactured by hynix and depending on which chip you get uh, the cards are actually um, a bit different in performance. So if you get a Hynix chip one, you will get like, it will do 31.8 mega hash on Ethereum exactly. That is what you're gonna get out of it. However, if you get a Samsung chip one, it is a bit more up in the air what it can do. So let's actually have a look at, uh, at the hash rates I'm getting here. So total hash rate for this whole rig is about 419 mega hash right now a little bit over 419 and as you can see most of the cards get around 31.8 mega hash right but then as you can also see there are a few ones like this gigabyte one here that is doing 33.2 mega hash a second and that is because it's Samsung memory so I got four ones with Samsung memory and they are all doing between 32 and a half to 33 and a half. And then I've got another two up there that are all, they are both also Samsung memory. As for power consumption, the rig is doing about 
190 watts. However, that is including this big fan we got set up here, which this fan is actually pulling around 30 watts just on its own. So whole rig pulling maybe around 1060 watts, something like that, and getting again 419 mega hash, which I am really happy about. All right, so now let's move on to this rig, which this rig will be a lot more fun to talk about because it is, it, there, there's, a lot, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this rig, let me just say that. So let me just start by showing you the motherboard for this rig. And if you saw my previous video of how many GPUs can you fit on a gaming motherboard, you'll, you'll have seen this already, but this is actually a gaming motherboard, an Asus gaming motherboard. And originally it only has seven PCIe ports, but if you're wondering how I was able to fit 12 GPUs on it, that is because not only am I using one of these one to four like PCIe splitters that let you plug four risers into one PCIe port on your motherboard, I am also using, oh, this is gonna be hard to show you, but I'm using two of those, you see the little shining thing down there that's got a LED on it? It is a M.2 to PCIe adapter. So it turns your M.2 ports on your motherboard into PCIe ports that you can plug GPUs into. So that's how I'm able to fit 12 GPUs on a seven PCIe port motherboard. Oh, and by the way, these frames that I've got my rigs on, um, I actually built them myself and I've put together a PDF guide on how to build these and it's in the description if you want to check it out. It's got like 3D blueprints and every step is covered like in, in, uh, in great detail. You know, just a little, just a little plug there. Alright, but now let's talk about the GPUs that I've got in here. So let's start here on the bottom floor. I've got one, two, three, four of these same ones. They are all GTX 1660 Supers again. I know, that those are the last ones, I promise. And these are by Pallet. And these are also all Samsung memory. And they're getting about 32 mega hash. Uh, but they are the ones that are plugged into the like one to four riser splitter and those tend to make your cards just slightly more fragile when it comes to overclocking so if i were to plug them straight into the motherboard i probably might be able to get another half a mega hash out of each card or something like that possibly then moving on i've got a 1660 ti and this is an asus tough one and that is giving me pretty much exactly 31 mega hash and then in there next to that, that is a 1660 regular, like non-TI, non-super. And that is giving me 24 and a half mega hash, something like that. And then next to that in here, if I can move some cable out the way, maybe you can see a little bit. It's a just gigabyte, 1066 gigabytes. And that is also giving me around 24 and a half mega hash, something like that. All right, let's move up to the upper shelf because here is where it gets more interesting, right? So this is a 1080, a GTX 1080 uh, by MSI. And that is currently giving me around 37 mega hash, I want to say. It's usually between 37 and 38. It kind of, it moves around a little bit actually. And then we got one, two, three GTX 1070s, which these are actually nice. They're still pretty good for Ethereum mining, getting around between 27 and 28 mega hash, I wanna say, per card. They're not as power efficient, of course, but other than that, they're, they're good, they're reliable. And one of them is this HP OEM one, which is a really strange one, but it is a blower style, which means it pushes all of the hot air out at the back there just like this one does and this is an asus turbo and it's a 1080 ti which that is my most powerful card when it comes to mining and that is doing 
around 45 mega hash a second however it is also pulling a lot of energy it is not very efficient at all so if we're having a look here like for the full rig you can see we're doing around 373 mega hash on this rig so not as good as the 1660 super rig but still pretty good hash rate for a full rig like this you can also see all the individual hash rates there if, if you're interested and then finally let's have a look at power consumption for this rig it is at 1432 watts something like that so basically pulling 400 watts more than the other rig but giving us like 40 mega hash less so obviously that's not great and the 1660 rig is better in that regard uh, but this is still a good rig this was my first rig that i started building so i i still like this rig a lot if you've been following the channel along for the last few months you will have seen this rig sort of grow and change over time and then i've also got one more gpu over here this is another 1066 gigabytes that isn't doing so well it's got a busted fan and it also keeps overheating so we're gonna do some surgery on this guy uh, we're gonna replace the fans and we're gonna just take it apart replace the thermal paste and i don't know just give it a good clean give it some uh, tender love and care some tlc all right guys so all in all if you've been keeping track you can see that i have a total of 17 1660 supers I got one 1660 Ti, I got one 1660 regular, I've got three 1066 gigabytes, I got three 1070s, one 1080 and one 1080 Ti. So that is all of the GPUs that I've currently got. Now let's talk about future plans and goals for a bit. So what the current plan is, I want to start by getting everything out of this rig except the four 1660 supers so the motherboard the power supplies and all of the other gpus and i want to put them back in this old like 12 gpu frame that i built this is like an older design like the prototype design before i came up with this like much better design so i want to move those eight gpus plus that one 1060 over there that we're fixing into this frame here together with that uh, motherboard so as you know this motherboard takes nine gpus if you include the m.2 adapters but if you of course exclude that splitter which i i don't want to use that splitter long term so that motherboard can take nine gpus like properly and you know that would be nine gpus so this would be my sort of like hodgepodge rig of random 10 and 16 series cards and then i want to start building this rig out to be another one of those 13 like 1660 super rigs so i've got the one 1660 super rig that you saw uh, in the other room and then i want to turn this into another 13 times 1660 super rig and then I'd like to build another two of those 13 times 1660 super rigs. So four rigs with 13 1660 supers in each, as well as this sort of hodgepodge rig of the random 10 series cards. So when I first started mining, um, I got all of these 10 series cards. They're all used uh, because I had not learned how to acquire GPUs yet. <laughs> So my, uh, my only way of getting GPUs then was through like, like uh, secondhand ads. Uh, but now that I've gotten like more experience and learned the ropes a little bit, like getting 1660 super cards uh, has actually been, I won't say easy, but I've been able to get them consistently. And if you want to know more about how, I've got two videos on the channel actually about how to find GPUs. So you can check those out. But see, so yeah, I'm hoping to build a total of four 1660 Super Rigs uh, with 13 GPUs in each. And of course, I don't want to get rid of my, these old cards because they're still hashing away beautifully and they're doing well on the ETH algorithm. So, you know, why get rid of them? 
uh, they're still very profitable even though they are consuming a bit more energy like per per mega hash so to say compared to the 1660 supers and then of course i'm just talking like pie in the sky dreams here like who knows if i'll be able to afford you know four whole rigs of 13 1660 supers but you know if you don't have a goal if you're not able to dream then what's the point right so what i would like to do after i reach that point is i would love to start upgrading each gpu because i wouldn't want to build more than like four of those rigs i'd rather then start upgrading so over time like sell one 1660 super and replace it with a maybe like 3060 ti instead and then slowly change every gpu over to a 3060 ti and then once I've done that, maybe there's like a new GPU out that, you know, is even better. Uh, or maybe I want to change, start changing each for like a 3080 or something like that. And so you slowly over time upgrade each GPU one by one in those rigs. Uh, now, of course, that's going to mean a lot more power needed. Um, but, you know, we, we, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, that's my farm as it stands as of right now. Um, if you've done the math, you can, or probably you can see from the title of the video that we're getting around 800 mega hash. It's around 817, 818 mega hash total, uh, something like that right now. Hopefully looking to upgrade the farm really soon and keep building out and, you know, b bigger and better, right? But if you enjoyed watching this today, then please give the video one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.